Howdy, everybody. I had a couple questions about scale in Maya and what scale people should be um, working in within Maya. It's really important, I think you've heard me say this before, that everyone work in real world scale. Why? Well, number one, all the lighting is based on real world scale. If you're doing any sort of effects, cloth, hair, you know, any sort of collision, particle stuff, it's just, it's incredibly important that everything is built to real world specs. So how do we do that? Um, let me make sure that I actually have a new version, a new scene. Okay. So we just opened a new scene in Maya. Um, so we're going to create a cube. So we have a cube. Um, okay. Our cube is at a scale of one. So if you go down here in the corner where you see this little running man, we're going to open that up. So in here, you can set your preferences for Maya. Um, we're going to go under settings. So under settings, you can, you can set your coordinate system in here. Maya defaults to Y up. There's a lot of applications for, um, Example, Unreal defaults to Z up. Most CAD applications, most engineering applications default to Z up. That's not important for the real, real world scale. Uh, I just wanna let you know that if you did wanna switch, you can switch that in here. I'm interested in working units. I'm currently in centimeters. You actually can switch this if you wanted to, to feet. I always just stay in centimeters. All 3D applications, almost, I've only ever worked in one that wasn't. So I just recommend you guys stay in centimeters. If you switch this mid project, just, it can really mess you up. <laughs> so don't do that. Just, I would just suggest that you stick in centimeters. So, um, so what does this mean? What it means is this cube we just created is literally one centimeter big. It looks big because because for whatever reason, the default grid in Maya is very small. So um, I'm gonna zoom in on this cube. I'll hit D to move my center point. I'll hit V to snap, middle mouse, drag this to a corner, hit D again. Um, we can go to our front orthographic. You can hit, um, well, we'll just do this snap to grid. Okay, um, X is the hotkey for that, or V is snap to point. So let's say I wanna make a human sized character, okay? I know what it is, but let's go in here and we'll do this. So you can see I have all this stuff in here. So let's say uh, I need six, six foot to, in centimeters six foot in centimeters. Six foot in centimeters is 182.88 centimeters. So you could do 183, you could do 182 if you wanted to be specific. Um, what did I say it was 182.88, okay. 182.88, okay. What the heck? Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. Let's just do one A3. Okay. So you can see how big that is and how ridiculous our little um, grid looks. So how do we fix that? Let's just fix our grid. So we'll go to grid. Um, so we're currently displaying every 12 units, which is essentially 12 centimeters, right? So that's not gonna work for us. So let's just put another zero in here. We'll hit apply. So now we have a really huge grid, but it's got too many divisions. So let's just put one subdivision. Okay. You can change this to whatever you want. And once you apply this, um, I think it's it'll stay in Maya for every version you open. Um, So 
So let's say you wanted to measure this because you're still unsure, okay? There's measuring tools in Maya. You could go to create measuring tools, distance tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and snap this and you're gonna click two points. So you're gonna click one there and let's just say um, one here someplace. So you can see this is uh, 180 centimeters that we just put in here. And if you want, um, this is the top locator, you could name this one, I don't know, top. If you were gonna measure a bunch of stuff, you can go in and you can actually move this around. Um, if you wanted to zoom in on this and you wanted to change this and get like really specific with it, you can see we're at 182. I mean, if you wanted to put this at uh, 182.88 or whatever that was, you can do that. Um, all right, so, so we know that this is six feet tall, exactly. So let's go and let's import a character. Um, so I had imported a, like a Captain America or something, let's see. So this is, okay, I don't need this rig. Let's delete that rig. Let's, um, let's move this over. Let's zoom in on, on the thing I imported. Okay. So he's really tiny. He's like Ant-Man in here. Um, Once, yeah, he's also very shiny. Let's go to material. Um, let's change this to Lambert. Okay, yeah, he looks like Captain America now. Where is he? He's tiny. So, okay. He's also locked. So let's unlock this. We will unlock selected. So the thing I wanted to show you guys is he is currently at a scale of one, okay? So whatever application he was created in, it thinks he's at a scale of one. He is not at our scale of one. We need to bring, we need to get him to match our real world scale. So let's bump him up to 10. He's still tiny. Let's bump him up to 100. He's still tiny, okay? So let's scale him. Let's just scale him. And so we'll scale him up to be six feet tall, right? So isn't that interesting? So we're at 182.9, right? So let's just make this 1830. So we said six foot was 183 centimeters, right? Now we're at 1,830. So we just put a zero on that and that's six feet tall. So that makes sense. He's in our world. So let's say, um, I don't know, you wanted a door, okay? So we just created another one inch cube. Of course you could change this to, you know, bring in a different default size cube, but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna middle mouse drag, snap this point, um, hit D again, X, no move X, snap this to the floor. So a standard door height in the United States is, um, 80 inches. This is a good rule for you guys to know because um, in compositing, just, you know, there's door, there's pretty much like a door frame in it in every shot. So uh, when I worked as a compositor in school, you're always taught that everyone writes all this information down. Nobody ever writes anything down. I've never worked on anything that anyone actually recorded any information. I just been given something and said, make it work. Like that happens all the time. So you kind of need to know 
I mean, you know, in America, things are standard heights. We have rules here. We have a lot of building rules. Rules, so you know that a door for, a door in the United States is 80 inches. So what does that equate to? So 203 centimeters point two. Um, so if we scale our door on Y to 203.2, and so standard door width is, I don't know, it's like the 30, it could be 30, 36. So 76.2 on X, so 76.2. Okay, and let's say, I don't know, it's six centimeters or something. Um, so now you have Captain America standing in front of a door. Let's say you wanted, um, let's say you wanted, oh shoot, my zoom is in the way. Let's say you want, uh, I don't know, Ikea, you want some furniture. Um, I don't know, a desk, a table, I was thinking table. Okay. Uh, I don't know. These are all stupid tables. Okay, so let's just take this. So I'll just I'll write this down. So this table, I guess they don't give us the height. So forty-seven and a quarter um, by twenty-nine and half okay oh shoot so let's go back to our measurements so um what do we say 47 and a quarter so i don't know well i guess that's 47.25 okay so let's say that's 120 so 120 and then the other measurement was 29 uh Point five, so that's let's just say that's seventy five. Okay. So then in here we can once again create another cube. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to snap D middle mouse. Whoops. Um, v snap this to the corner. Hit D again. I'm going to go to my front view. I'm going to um, snap this to the floor. I guess I don't have to, but um, so what did we say this was? We said this was 120 centimeters wide by um, Z depth of 75. And it's currently one centimeter thick. So I don't know, let's say it's five centimeters thick. Um, so. My table. Uh, somehow that got screwed up. All right, so they don't give us the height, right? But now we have, we can tell how big our table is. Um, so anyway, this is just a quickie, just to let you guys know how you should be thinking about scale in Maya. And so you can get your assets, any imported assets you would bring in, Actually, let me bring in one more thing. Like I had brought in some stuff for the lighting folks and actually I didn't, I don't think I checked scale on that. So let me just check scale on that. Um, awesome. Let's try another one. Import. Um, oh, oh yeah, I had a problem. Hold on a second, let's see. Uh, let's try that. Hmm. Maybe that's not in there. Um, 
Oh yeah, this will work. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's so big. It's too big for my camera. Okay. So this is, you know, this is why we do this, right? Um, so let me, let me frame up on captain. Okay. So, yeah, so this was this Nefertiti, um, 3d scan that was done. You can tell it's massive. Like clearly this is way too big. It's currently at a scale of one. So, um, Um, to get it, you know, to something acceptable. So now you know. So there we go. All right, guys, I hope that helps.